let me disarm you I'm not trying to own you I just wanna know what it feels like I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to straighten long keys 30 inch slayfulness. I did a previous video for this AliExpress vendor and I was just showing you guys how to do a makeup look and also um, a little bit more back information about the hair in that video so if you guys want to check that out I will list it in the description box below so you can go ahead and click on that if you're interested and today like I said I'm just going to be straightening the hair but let me give you some back information on the hair if you guys would like to purchase it in the near future um, this is Long Keys Brazilian Straight this is 30 inches I received four bundles but was only able to fit three bundles on this unit I can honestly stuff the fourth one in and I'll probably I probably will be doing that really soon but I like how flowy and natural natural and kind of like effortless this looks when it's in this natural state so when I go to straighten it it may look a little thinner but I'm gonna I'm gonna force the fourth bundle in there soon so don't worry about it if it looks thin during this process I don't plan on putting any serum in this hair I just want to see how well it straightens by itself um, yes I did trim the hair just a little bit no I haven't been seeing any shedding any fallout um, any tangling any naping or anything like that but we're just going to see how well this hair straightens. Hopefully I don't receive the flyaways again. Um, if I do, that will be a major problem, honestly, for me. Just because I won't be able to rock it as much as I would like to. But it's, when it's in a wavy state like this, I really do love it. If you guys see that it's wavy, it's because I actually cold, well, shampoo and conditioned this hair because of the flyaways. And I've just been wearing the hair like this and I'm really, really pleased with it. I'll stand up so you can see how long it is. Yes, I am 5'3". So this is pretty much past my butt and the hair looks really really nice in this state So I really do like it. I had it braided earlier So it may look a little wavier than last time But yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing today for you ladies If you guys want to see this makeup look just let me know in the comment section below And yeah, so let's get it started. I'm going to use my Conier 2-in-1 slash uh, curling iron Flat iron slash curling iron today for this look and I don't want to put any serums in it, like I said, so let's just see how well this hair straightens without serum. Now, when I received this hair, it was super bone straight, and I didn't see any flyaways in the bundles when, it's, when it was just in the bundles. But when I started making the unit, I just started seeing so many flyaways. But like I said, I co-washed it, and I didn't see a lot. But today, I felt like I seen a few of them, like, popping in and out. Um, and... It's not as bad as it was when it was straightened, so I'm not really worried. So hopefully today, when I go in and straighten it, it's not going to give me a problem. I usually like blowing the hair out, but I feel like the hair is combed out enough that I don't have to go in and use a blow dryer, because that's what I usually do um, when it's time to straighten hair. And yeah, so, you know, you can always use some heat protecting spray on the hair if you guys want to. But I currently don't have any heat protecting spray with me. Um, I'm actually not at my place, so all of my hair products I didn't want to bring with me on my trip. So yeah, so so far I feel like it's straightening really well. Let me know if you guys worked with this company before and how your hair held up if you ordered any hair from Monkey Hair. Um, you can always check out their AliExpress review section to see um, all of the girls Pretty much all around the world that have been rocking monkey hair and how they felt about the hair but they had a ton of positive reviews on their website that's why I really wasn't that skeptical about this hair company so I really did want to give them a chance and I wanted to review their hair for you guys if you were interested in purchasing this hair so if I'm looking over there it's because my mirror is right there and I know you guys are right here I know I see you boo I see you boo. P.S. I don't know how I feel about this lipstick. Um, this is a lipstick from MAC called Green Machine, I think. Still feeling like it's giving satin vibes, so I honestly went in today and put some foam in the little braids that I have put into this hair. I like, had like four different plaits in the hair and I just used some foam to just control the little flyaways that I did see and it actually worked so I really wasn't tripping about it but I just don't like flyaways with long hair or super straight hair just because I just don't want to be looking crazy 
and my hair just sticking up everywhere but as you can see it's flat ironing really really good and once again like I told you when I first received the hair it was really really soft and it was really long it was really soft it was really long and very straight so I didn't feel like I was gonna have a problem straightening it because it was already in that state if you guys have any flat irons that you really love and you think that I should purchase let me know I have my eye on a couple of them in Ulta but I really want to hear you guys' thoughts about Oh, by the way, I do want to mention the frontal really quick. So, with the frontal, I had to go in and bleach the knots just to make it look a little bit more natural. So, um, the parting can look like it's an actual like scalp kind of feel. I do have a video on how to bleach your knots. And I'm just waiting to that footage, the editing process. So that will be up soon, so don't worry. I know you guys are probably like, well, how do you do it? But I did record it for you guys, and it actually turned out really good. So I'm very excited for you guys to um, see that video. I did go in and tweeze the frontal because it wasn't um, very natural looking, but not all frontals are coming pre-plucked and stuff like that. So you definitely have to recommend that or watch out for that when you're looking for frontals. I definitely would say go with the pre-plucked frontals or pre-plucked wigs because you don't have to go in and do so much of the plucking yourself and it saves you a lot of time. Once again, this co-washing situation is definitely the key to making your hair look slayful because I feel like AliExpress vendors, they just send you the hair however, you know, they store it to make it look really pretty when you receive it but you're not getting the real natural texture if you don't co-wash it trust and believe so like sometimes it comes in coils and stuff like that that's not bad but that's just not the natural hair pattern so when you wash it don't be alarmed don't be like your waves fell because it didn't fall it's just how they styled it to keep the hair looking healthy and um appealing to the eye like on the websites and stuff like that and they want you to know what type of texture it is but if you co-wash it the wave is not going to be super like indented like that it's impossible for somebody here to really really look like that like it's not impossible but how perfect their hair being usually that's like a style that somebody gets to have their hair I'm going to insert clips so you guys know what I'm talking about because you probably like Tati what the fuck are you what are you saying I d really don't notice like how some people don't have any knowledge behind like weaves and I expect you guys to have some so I don't really be giving you guys the inside scoop and or I'll be talking to you guys about the inside scoop and you probably don't even know what I'm talking about but trust me I will always recommend you guys co-wash any hair that you receive from um, AliExpress you know so you can see if you like the pattern because I just don't like when people receive hair and then they think it's bad hair but in reality they just haven't took the time out to do the extra steps to make their hair look good so a lot of you guys be like your hair always looks good my hair doesn't look that good like what shampoo are you using what conditioner are you using are you leaving the conditioner in there for some time so it can get the nutrients back into the hair to put moisture back into the hair are you trimming the ends so it can look natural are you storing your hair properly like those are the things that you need to definitely pay attention to when you have weave in your hair because as long as you take care of your hair your weave just like it was your hair the hair is going to last for a while um, not saying Aliexpress hair is going to last you forever maybe for or five years but it can definitely last you up to maybe a year mm -hmm. and it's just depending on how you take care of the hair because I have some hair from AliExpress that I still rock still keep on and I also have some wigs from other vendors that um, have I have for a very long time and it's still holding up really great so yes ma'am if you guys want some opinions about how to take care of your weaves or maintain a weave or how to style, cut, trim, that kind of video for your weaves, let me know in the comment section because I can just put some of my favorite products that I like using, you know, to wash my weaves. There's a few of them because I have a few shampoo and conditioners that I use for my actual hair 
so they're not always going to be the same ones and for my weaves I don't like using my expensive stuff but sometimes I have to if it's looking like it needs some severe help you know but hope lens conditioner from Garnier is so popping for virgin hair trust me thank me later I love that for my hair but it's not sulfate free for my hair but you don't really need the sulfate freeness for the weaves even though you could do that and like I said sometimes you may have to depending on how your hair looks now if you have some weave that you're trying to revamp definitely um, go get the Aussie shampoo and conditioner that is the deep moisture or even get um get the whole blends Garnier honey treasures conditioner and shampoo and leave that conditioner on there for at least 45 to like an hour and watch how amazing your hair looks and you can even try that hair on your natural hair that hair that um no you can't try that hair on your natural hair <laughs> um even try that shampoo and conditioner the honey treasures on your actual hair if you have natural hair if you have relaxed hair it definitely makes a huge difference um in your hair and i love it so freaking much i'll be having places to be when i be doing videos so i'll be trying to get in where i fit in and get out it's not that much longer but it's a little bit more past like hitting my thighs now and once again i'm five these are the final results. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As you can see, the hair looks amazing. No flyaways, no foul smell, super easy to flat earn. Um, so definitely, definitely check out their reviews because I don't know if you guys have worked with this company or not, but this is my first time and I was having some troubles at first, but as you can see, we got it together, got it together. Now, the conditioner and shampoo that I use will be listed in the description box below or you can check out the previous video that I'll let you guys know a little bit more information about the hair and what I was going through in the first round when I first created this unit for myself yes this is a wig that I made for myself you guys know that I can't be sewing shit down to my head because I review too much hair so yeah so this is basically what is going on right now and I will update you guys in the near future about how this hair is holding up in the description box below but so far so good as you can see for your own two eyes I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you are interested to see me in more videos don't forget to subscribe if you guys want to see other videos from me don't forget to leave those comments below tell me guys tell me what you want to see trust me i know it's the bun tutorial trust me i know it's those picky tail tutorials but if you guys want anything else like i was standing in this video please let me know in the comment section below give me some advice to what do you guys want to see more um and yeah so if you have not already subscribed please subscribe if you have subscribed already thank you so much for doing so it means so much to me and please turn on your notifications so you can be notified when i have a new video on my channel thank you so much for watching guys and long key information will be listed in the description box below once again this is their four bundle 30 inches plus a 20 inch frontal i think i'm going to go ahead and stuff the fourth bundle in downstairs but yeah i haven't even mentioned that like yes i did trim the end so that's why you can kind of see that it's kind of like straight and very even in certain spots density is nice enough to be natural and it's not too much it's not going to make you hot during the summertime and i definitely think everybody and any girl and every girl in the world should experience 30 inches or more at one point in their life so for my 22nd birthday i definitely wanted to do that for myself so yeah so this is my first time ever working with 30 inches of hair i do have some 34 inch bundles that i will be showing you guys in the future so i'm getting longer and longer i'm ready to slay your way honey so thank you so much for watching baby loves and i'll see you guys in my next video let me disarm you i'm not trying to own you i just want to know what it feels like